1995 was his only gig here in Northern Ireland. Were you lucky enough to be there? I was. It was tremendous. And I remember at the time there were some people complaining, I didn't know that song and I didn't know that. And I thought to myself, what are you doing at a Bowie gig if you didn't know the album tracks? Because he, he, he played all great stuff. I, I loved it. And what was that show like? It, it, it was terrific. I was actually a bag of nerves. I had been offered the chance to interview Bowie backstage before the gig. Now, as it turned out, they came to me when I was standing with my tape recorder shaking. They said, listen, it can't happen. Uh, there's a, been a foul up with the time, so just go in and enjoy the show. And to be honest, I was relieved because I was really, really, you know, I was so nervous I was going to make a mess of the interview anyway. What made, I mean, you just touched on it there. We've heard so much since the news of his death emerged uh, this morning. There's been so much said about him, about how he was not just a music star, how he was a style icon, a fashion icon, how he brought popular culture to the fore. But what was it that made David Bowie so special? He was just so inventive and so imaginative. Uh, I mean, he explored musical themes that other people tried. But he was like standing at the top of the hill and saying, no, this is how you do it properly. I'll do it the right way. And then by the time everyone had got the grips with his new style, whether it was glam rock, electronic music or whatever, he was going on something else. And he was already telling them, that's old hat now. I do something else now. He touched so many different genres, though. Oh, listen, I mean, the, the first Bowie album I bought was Space Oddity. So that was 1969, which was kind of a nearly a bog standard folk album. But then the man who sold the world... And and then you'd Ziggy Stardust and Hunky Dory, Aladdin said all those albums were brilliant. And you know you can identify the tracks; they they stand out on their own. Each one is a, another step on Bowie's career development. Can the music live on? Oh, the music definitely. Oh, no doubt about it. Uh, the, the one of the quotes uh, on Twitter today was: "David Jones is dead. David Bowie lives." 